Jesu out. What's up, Empire family? It's your boy Drake, and it's my baby. Yeah. It is my baby girl. And guys, today we are back with another lit video. But guys, today, bro, it's really not so much of a lit video. But we're gonna say that for the kids, cause guys, today the kids are about to go get their wet baby. Yeah, they are about to go to the DR, not the Medicare pull it, the other DR. Yeah. Here at the end, y'all get a physical, and they also have to get some immune immunizations to make sure they are up and on schedule, because y'all, they are about to start school. Gonna make yeah. friends? Yeah. You gonna be playing with them? Yeah. You gonna say hey? Yeah. Let me hear you say hey. Say hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so guys, that's what we about to go do right now. So before we even leave this house, make sure y'all go ahead and smash that like button. Make sure y'all go ahead and click that what, baby? Subscribe button. And make sure y'all go subscribe to Dread Kid Empire because we are dropping a bang over there. Y'all probably already seen it, but anyways, make sure y'all subscribe. And y'all, I can't lie. I ain't been wearing my teeth. I just put them in, and this one, like, I had to bite down on it to make it fit, and it popped out my mouth. Yeah. And y'all. Casey's over there playing the game. He said he didn't want to come get an intro today. So y'all gonna see him in a minute. He think he a big boy. Yeah, I don't know why he think he a big boy, but he is a big boy. Because y'all know my boy just turned a big foe. Oh, okay. You know what I'm and then here's the baby. Why do I have to hold you, Kelly? And here's the baby. But y'all, I've been loving Ken Barnes lately, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Ooh, I don't know why she just did that, but that was my super. Bobby Yo, Bobby Ben. My Bobby Ben flew out my head. A Bobby Ben? Who is Bobby? Why Bobby in your head? You thinking about Bobby? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I better just go and walk away. Y'all, let's just take a minute to admire our office. Y'all, our office is coming along so freaking well. Y'all, look at this rug, y'all. This rug just really brings out the office along with that shelf right there, y'all. But this rug, though, this rug is giving. It just makes it look like a boho thing, y'all. Let me turn on the lights so y'all can see it. Look at that, y'all. Look at our office. Y'all, this rug is so freaking soft. It's so freaking smooth. And y'all, not to mention, this is a washable rug, y'all. So that means this rug rug right here can ball up and go into the washing machine. Now, this is a 8 by 10 rug. Just look how big it is, y'all. And not to mention, this rug is a good quality rug. And I got this rug from Boutique Rugs. Y'all, if y'all pay attention to our vlogs, then y'all know that most of our rugs come from Boutique Rugs. And I got this one from Boutique Rugs as well. And y'all, I also have a 10% off code for y'all. If y'all want to order y'all a rug, y'all, the code is called Call Me Ken. It gives you 10% off any rug. So y'all, I'm gonna put all of the information y'all need in the description down below. And y'all, let me show y'all the other rug that's upstairs. Y'all, this is the other rug, y'all. Just look at this. This is the rug that's in my mom room. And y'all, this rug goes with this room so freaking perfect, y'all. It is just neutral, natural color, so it can go with anything. It got gray in it, brown, white. This rug really brings out this bed. Because at first, it was looking a little plain in here. But once we added this rug, baby, it done popped out the whole entire room. Y'all, this rug right here is soft as well. Well, and just look at it, y'all. It is just perfect. Yeah, I didn't know that I wanted that rug to be downstairs in our living room or upstairs in this room. So I brought it up here to see how it looks, and y'all, it looks freaking amazing. And y'all, this one is an 8 by 10 as well, and it just fits this room perfect. So y'all, like I said, y'all, that website have so many different kinds of rugs. So if you need your rug for your house, your office, wherever, make sure y'all go check it out right now, and make sure y'all use my code to get 10% off, and it's called Call Me King. All right, guys, so right now we have made it over here to the doctors, and right now, Kelly back there, she is about, they don't even know what's about to go on. Hey, my boy, Kaysen, Kaysen, what's about to happen? What? To go in there and get ready so y'all can start school. I told you you gotta go in there and get a physical. They gotta make sure you can see. They gotta make sure you weigh good. They just gotta make sure you fully function. Are you fully function? Can you hear me? Oh, baby, I don't know. <laughs> can you think. hear? If you can hear, say chicken butt. Chicken butt. Okay, he can hear. <laughs> Do this right here. Can you smell? Smell on your mama armpit. See, is it stinking? Kelly, if you can hear, say chicken butt. Kelly, say chicken butt. <laughs> yeah, she said she ain't saying that. But right now, y'all, we finna get ready to go up in there. I'm not even gonna lie. The part that Kelly's gonna hate the most is the S H O T. I'm just gonna keep immunization. it Immunization. Can you say immunization? S H O T. Y'all know exactly what that is. I think Shot. he might. I think he might have two too. You think he might gotta get one too? Some, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Y'all, we gonna see, man. So, we finna get ready to go up in there, and we'll come back to y'all once. We gonna try to sneak the camera in and see can we record in there, but y'all know how that be. So, guys, come to find out. 
Cali have to get four S H O T S's, bro. That's crazy. And Kason got to get three. That's even more crazy. Well, that's not more crazy than Cali, but come on, y'all. We finna get ready to go in and uh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, baby girl do all right. Hopefully, oh, she's so happy right now. All right, y'all. So right now we made it here. Kason and Cali, they did so good on their vision test. We got Cali right here. She's so happy. Kason, he's not showing he's happy, but he's doing good. He's a big boy. But this smile is about to turn upside down, y'all, because she finna have to be up there, and then Kason gonna go after her. Everything looks cool, man. Cali, what you doing, baby? Huh? You trying to get up here? Yeah, then we got Ken over here filling out a survey. It's been so far so good. So far so good, y'all. Kason weighed 56 pounds and Kelly weighed 37 pounds. 37 pounds. 37 pounds. And then Kelly is 2'11", so she almost three feet. And Kason is three foot seven. Yeah. So he is four feet out the world. Big boy. <laughs> Wait, this is a children's clinic, right? Mm -hmm. What key is it smoking? What? They say no, they tell you to quit smoking around them because they oh, get all okay. drunk after long weed stroke. Ow! Well, baby, you need hey, to stop. Don't worry. <laughs> 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 you need to stop smoking around them, man. Okay, so get your big head out the way, bro. Hey, y'all, we on Ken, new phone. Don't play with me. New phone, don't play with me. It's clear. Y'all probably think it's the camera, Mama. but it's my new phone. Yeah, you her new phone. Mm -hmm. Casey, you ready for the doctor? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you tell them already? What? How many? Yeah, four for her yeah. and three for him. That's crazy. Yeah, he has to get his four-year-old one. So y'all know he just turned four last week. So both of them trying to get on mama. Nah, they both are mama's babies. No, see. Kelly only go off whatever Casey trying to do with the mama. No, but when my other boy come, when it he make it, boy. baby, yes, you did. You were just telling your friend on the phone yesterday. Yeah, I think I want another boy. Send like I said you didn't. I said it's more of Dre convincing me, but then I said it's a possibility. I'm not convincing you. Because I don't, I never, I never sat down and had a talk with Ken. Hey, come on, man. Let's go on with your trifle. Why'd you be joking for the camera? He's just kissing all along. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to have my little one right here. No, because look, because if it was three, I wouldn't be able to hold on to you. Nah, I'm saying the other one's going to be with me. Well, Casey's going to be about six years old. Guys, believe it or not, y'all may think I'll be convincing Ken. I, I just do it for the camera. But Ken, she be saying she thinks she want one more in like two years. She's not going to say it on camera because she want to make me look like the evil demon here. I said I'll see how things are going in about two years. She be begging me. Hey, so you're a big boy. Let me see you. Wow. Can't believe you got two of them? Wow. You been crying? You was crying? You good. Bro. All right, babe. So the kids did. I mean, they cried. They both cried. They cried. Kason was more nervous because he watched Kelly. Yeah, I was. I think I was more nervous than both of them. You think so? Yeah, when lady came in, I said, yes, sir, it's a whole woman. Guys, so Kenya nervous. said, yes, sir, to a woman, bro. <laughs> Kason, you did good, though. We got to go buy you a Camaro, bro. Don't touch it. Leave it alone. Eat your gummy fish, bro. You did a good job. Kason cried because he watched Kelly. And Kelly, she did, she, she did good. She stopped crying right after, though. Mm -hmm. So she did real good. So she got two of them right there. And it's one under there in case we got him two of them and it's one under there. But right now he eats Swedish fish and we are about to get ready to go. You ready to get a Barbie doll? Okay. You ready to get a Camaro? Okay. We have to go to one more other place and get that blood drawn because they didn't have it here or whatever the case is. So now we gotta go get that deal. Hopefully everything be good. Hopefully. Around. They just gotta get their blood drawn. I, the thing about it, I think Casey did do it last time. Some of the small things that supposed to stick in there and oh, yeah, it just, up. I guess just keep their eyes off of it. Cause I have my head covering Kelly eyes. Like, obviously she felt it, but she ain't jump nowhere near as hard as Casey. Casey was. <laughs> hey guys, we couldn't record it. Wasn't it? Look, did y'all read the sign? Where they sign? It's a sign in here. It's oh, right here. We, we couldn't record it because we only supposed to have a cell phone, but we doing this for y'all, bro. We breaking laws for y'all. So, all right, guys. Right now, we are back up in the truck, and right now, we have pulled over to the... Hold on. Let me show y'all. This is the world's oldest McDonald's in the world. Ken wanted to come here. I don't know why she wanted to come here. Okay, it says canceled. It's canceled? The order canceled? Y'all, Ken be trying to place orders on the McDonald's app, and it be acting crazy. Yeah, the McDonald's app is the most trashest food app. Even though it gives you a lot of points, so you can use your points, but 
But it's always, we always have so many incidents when the money come out of our car, but they don't have our order, or they charging us for something that we ain't even order. Yeah, it just be too much going on. How about the, y'all, how about the, how about the money that came out one time in the McDonald's, they like, they ain't see it. And we had to wait a whole week just to get our money back. I had to follow the dispute, y'all. Because uh, we been using our Cash App card with the McDonald's order. So I had to follow the dispute with Cash App. They finally gave it back. Then, then the McDonald's workers, they wouldn't even try to give us the money back. I said, well, damn. Can I just get $20 worth of food in? That, see, see what I'm saying? Then, y'all, I don't know if y'all know, but if y'all wanted me and Ken real numbers, our numbers is 911. Just call both of them. Ask for, uh, <laughs> say, hey, Jerry. Nah, I'm just playing. Don't try ever this. Ask for Betty, Betty Lou. But anyway, though, y'all, babe, what you want to uh, do right now? You want to get out the car and turn from me? No. What's the ghetto? Alright, y'all. So, right now, we are in McDonald's. We're going to get the kids time to eat, y'all. They have one more place to go before we can finally go home and they can be finished for the day. <laughs> they have to get some blood work done. So, hopefully, after they blood work, they are done. They don't have to go through no more pain. Get Kelly a Mac chicken plain. A Mac chicken with lettuce and tomatoes and cheese? No, do it plain. Hello. Uh, Let yes. me get a Mac chicken like plain. A Mac chicken plain. In a nugget 350 bundle. In a 350 nugget bundle with barbecue sauce. In a large Coke and a large orange thing. But y'all, we'll catch y'all when we get this food. Cause I'm about to gas. So we gonna be some gas. Hey, hey, we at the gas station. You might as well get it. Mommy, get that baby. Yeah, these folk done turned to bank the McDonald's. What in the heck is we at, baby? This had to be a bank. We might be at, I ain't even gonna say where we, yeah, I ain't gonna say somewhere, where. Somewhere, y'all, the doctor's office sent us over here to get blood work. So, we somewhere, and this McDonald's just look. Like a bank, like a old, like a old library. Y'all see that right there? I think it was a bank for real. Nah, it seriously. Had to be in a bank. Cause the ATM had to been sitting right there between them poles. Definitely, right there. And then they right there probably was the window. I mean, hey, we finna be sitting here with them and we don't make it to the gas hey, station. Gas pumps right there, Shawty. Right there, Shawty. Right there, Shawty. There you go with the game yeah, with that crazy go. stuff. You taste good. But anyway, come on, y'all. Let's get ready to get our food. <laughs> what? I thought you were laughing at Casey. Oh, no, nah, I just see it tastes good. But all right, y'all, let's go ahead and get our food. I heard you the first time. What yummy. you want me to say? It tastes yummy. All right, guys, so we done made it back to the house, and we got the bottle girl in the building. And right now, the kids is finna go ahead and take a sip of that little casa. No, I'm just playing, y'all. This Tylenol, bro. Because the doctor said give them Tylenol. Drink it up. Drink it up. Yay. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Beat it, Kelly. Casey won. Yay. Yay. Kelly. <laughs> let's go. Swallow it, Kelly. Uh, she said no. She said no. She said no. Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. Right now in our refrigerator, bro, we gotta go stock up a little bit more. But we got this martellinis, bro. Look, do not play with martellinis. And I got a cran grape. And hold on, let me show y'all something else. We got the grape juice. I love this. And we got the root beer, bro. Super fire. And then Ken, she got this coffee. She need to go ahead and make it. Can you make me a cup? Yeah, Kelly, swallow us. So I'll give you some juice. Look at her. She still got her swallow, Moo Moo. Come on, Boo Boo. Mm. Just, oh, no, Kelly. <sighs> now, bro. You got to take more. You gotta, okay, maybe. You want yourself another. Maybe she shouldn't have drunk that much at once. <laughs> Well, I was kind of boosting on. I was like, go, 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 go. Come on, Kelly. She got to take a little more. But, y'all, right now, we're about to let the kids take their uh, medicine. we also going to let Kelly take a nap because she already got a shot. So, I know she's going to be cranky because she always cranky. So, she about to take a nap. Hey, and I'm about to go drop the video that y'all already seen, case and birthday video. Well, hopefully, I can drop it today because if I don't, Ken probably kill me, which I don't want that to happen. So, I'm going to try to get it out today. But if I don't, y'all pray that I'm still here tomorrow. So, y'all, it is the next day. We had to come back to this place again because yesterday they didn't have the needles or something like that to use. But other than that, y'all, Kim went out and got her her did today. She got a totally different style she never tried in her life. Hey, baby, say something. Baby, say something. Y'all, hey, hey, stay tuned me. for the next Empire Family video. Like, I feel like when you drop your video on your channel, we should drop that same day again on the Empire Family. So, I might I might just drop this video tomorrow just for the heck of it. When are you dropping your video, babe? I don't know. Because I got my other video I got to drop. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Anyway, so, y'all, we got Kelly Welling right there. You know what I'm saying? We got Casey. And we're finna go in here right quick, but we are going to show y'all Ken once we get out of here.
So, all right, guys, we have just left the place, and I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. Ken and the lady. Bro, hold on, stop, hold on. Nah. stop, stop. You do that every single time. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna show Ken. Yo, okay, so the lady, she tried to get case in vain, right? I wasn't able to record because me and Ken had the whole case in, and nobody was there with Kelly. So the lady, she tried to find the vein, and she had trouble. I, like, she had, she had a little trouble finding the vein, and she was the only worker there. She was the receptionist and the worker. So that right there was red flag number one. So when she went to stick the needle in, Ken said that the lady, she don't believe the lady was on the vein because Casey didn't even move. She was like, he got to be still because if he move, we have to do it again. Okay, cool. Casey didn't even really move for real, for real, y'all. Trust me, I'm telling you, he didn't move for real, for real. Like, he moved when he first stuck it, of course, because he a kid. He, of course, he gonna move. Yeah. But he didn't move much. Yeah, he didn't move at all, bro. Like, he moved a little bit, y'all. She stuck it in there, he moved a little bit, so she had, like, she just completely lost the vein. She sat in his arm for, for a few seconds trying to find it, and no blood still came out. So, clearly, I don't even think she was nowhere near the vein yeah. from the start. For her to completely lose it, yeah. so she was like, "You can either come back tomorrow, or I can try his other arm." I'm like, "Um, no, I'll just come back tomorrow when someone else is here to help you." And I'm like, "This is my second time coming up here, so when when is the next time person to be here?" She's gonna say they was here today. I said, "Okay, she did, when is the next time?" She did start to get a little smart. She was like, "They were here today," and and Ken asked her when was the next time. And at that point, I walked out, and then Kason, Kason, he was in there hurt, crying, and then go person, and then Callie, she was back. She had to sit down by herself because there was no one else there was no other worker or whatever the case is she had to sit by herself and she was back there going crazy and Kaysen show me your arm bro show me your arm it hurt you it hurt Kaysen said mommy I don't never want to come back here no more I, yeah. mean, I know baby yeah he literally said he never want to come back there anymore and y'all and y'all want to know the crazy part about that like we're going to let y'all know how he's feeling like once we get back home and stuff because hopefully he's feeling good because to tell y'all the truth he just got his blood drawn for nothing no reason at all. He didn't even get his blood drawn. She got stuck for no reason. Then no yeah. blood come yeah. out because she could. She didn't even put it on the vein. Yeah. Times of, he moved and made me lose it. No, because she sat in there and wiggled around. Cause like if he, because he Let moved. Me show your arm. He moved a little bit, y'all. So she stuck it. Case blood a little bit. So the, the needle probably went over a little bit. So she sat in his arm for a few seconds trying to find it, and still no blood came out. That's crazy, bro. And then y'all, time to find now. Case and they don't even need. Out, Case and them don't even need their blood drawn in the first place, and I knew that they didn't need their blood drawn. But the people at the doctor said they did, so I'm like, okay, well, y'all know, so maybe I'm wrong because I don't know. Because y'all, on the application, it says something about if they have had chicken pox or something like that, then they need their blood drawn. So I'm like, okay, that means they don't need it. So the people yesterday said they do need their blood drawn. So I'm like, you sure they need their blood drawn to start school? And they was like, yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I read it wrong or something like that. So we called the school, y'all. The school said they don't even need their blood drawn. They just need their shots. We just stuck my baby boy for no reason, bro. So we just stuck him for no reason, y'all. So right now, I'm actually headed. We actually headed to the other doctor's office who told us that yesterday so I could punch him in the face. Oh, 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 now. Well, we, we going up there, right? Huh? We can go back up there so I can punch him, right? Y'all, look here. Look here. I'm a man of peace and kin. I'm telling y'all, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, that really do makes you mad because the, the other doctors I did tell us that he need to get shots. And it really do kind of upset you at a parent, like, dang, my son just when he got stuck and this other person couldn't get the blood. And then he didn't even have to get no shot for real because of you saying this right here. He didn't but, have to get stuck. He, well, he didn't have to get stuck, not a shot. Let me correct that. But the thing is, how am I trying to get smart with me? Like, I ain't really about it. Cause you, do you hear her? I said, okay, when went the next time so I'll be here to help you? Because this is my sixth time coming up here. And she talks to them, and they was here today. And I said, okay, then when the next time she'll be here. Right, and then she said, tomorrow, 8 30, 2 30. I said, all right, then. And I had Jacob up like this, y'all. And then she said, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. And then I walked off. Y'all, she probably did do that because I walked out of there because I'm, I'm, I'm like, let me just get my son up out of here. I had just walked out. So Ken probably did it. She probably ain't lying, y'all. I did. Huh? I jacked her up. That's why she come back out the front with me. For real? I jacked her up and I pushed her on the floor. Push she on. had a phone in her hand. I jacked the phone in her hand and I threw it in her face. 
She probably, the police probably looking for us right now. Nah, the police probably looking for you. I know us. <laughs> hey, so show me your arm one more time, son. Then we're going to leave you alone until we get to the house. Look at that, y'all. That's his arm, man. My boy said he ain't feeling good. And we was this close to for Cali. They both was about to get him done, y'all. Then she said, do you mean try on your daughter? I said, heck no. H-E double hockey stick no. And then I punched her again. Mm -mm. I did. Yeah, I, yeah, right I ain't gonna lie. She, I heard the one when she asked that, but for some reason I ain't see that dang punch. Oh, I, just, I punched her. You punched her? Yeah, she said, she said, you mean trying to do it? I said, let me, let me demonstrate what I did. You ain't even demonstrate nothing. <laughs> let me demonstrate what I did. Where was I at when you punched her? I don't know, but I remember when I got rock out, let me show you how I slapped her. Oh, my face already hurt now. You let better move. Let me show you how I slapped her. I said, Oh, you got me so messed up. <laughs> you got like messed up. Anyways, y'all, we're gonna come up to y'all once we get home. But that's bad, bro. That's bad. But everything hey, happens for a reason. I don't feel like going in the Kroger. You don't feel like going in the Kroger? Mm -hmm. Alright, y'all, we finna get ready to go in Kroger and we're gonna come back to y'all once. I don't feel like it. You don't feel like it? No. Alright, y'all, we finna get ready to go in Kroger. No, I said I don't feel like it. We can place an order. So guys, I know right now I look very busted. As y'all can see, I look ugly and I'm very busted. But I just wanted to come in the garage and talk to you guys because they is in there and we trying to let the kids get some rest. Callie is sleeping, y'all know. She got her shots. Callie got four shots, guys. She got four shots. Casey also, he had got three shots and then he had to end up getting stuck for no reason when he really didn't even have to. Like, he supposed to get his blood drawn, but the blood didn't even come out. So he basically just got stuck with a needle for no reason, which we didn't even have to. So right now, we're just letting him also chill out and just relax. But guys, right now that y'all watching this today, it is Ken's birthday on the day that y'all watching this video. So comment down below, happy birthday, Ken. Um, we didn't we didn't vlog anything today because I just wanted to be like, like just a very intimate moment. You know what I'm saying? Just for like me and the family and and Ken but it'll probably be in the next vlog so make sure y'all stay tuned we may just show y'all like a little sneak peek of you know what I'm saying us and the kids me and the kids coming through the door giving Ken you know what I'm saying some love and stuff like that but yeah coming down below happy birthday Ken but right now y'all it is really unfortunate that our baby boy Kason had to literally get stuck you know what I'm saying I like I know y'all thinking like bro it's, it's 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 cool just chill I know it's cool I know he'll be good but I just hate that they had to you know what I'm saying like he already afraid of it and that was really even more afraid of it, and he had to just get stuck for no reason you know what I'm saying like no reason and we literally had to pay for that and it's nothing that we could do about it you know what I'm saying like so it's just know what we can do about it, so. And we're gonna continue to just stay in great spirits because that's what the Empire Family about, man. But make sure y'all stay tuned for the next Empire Family video because y'all don't want to miss it. Like I said, I probably include a clip of me and the kids surprising Ken coming through the door with all her stuff, man. So look, make sure y'all stay tuned. Don't miss it. Turn on your post notifications. Go subscribe to Dre and Ken Empire. Go run it up. We've been dropping shorts. We've been dropping videos. Y'all don't want to miss nothing, especially in August. But y'all, from the bottom of my heart, Thank y'all for supporting me and my family. Like, thank y'all so much. Like, y'all have literally changed our lives for the better. And we hope that we can change you guys' lives through each and every video by giving y'all positive energy. So, thank you so much, bro. And I just want to let y'all know, on behalf of me and my family, we love you guys. But with that being said, man, thank y'all for watching, bro. But y'all ain't got to get up out of here. But you got to, well, y'all do got to get up. You know what, y'all can stay. Just close your eyes until the next video.